Uh, hello guys, uh, before we start uh, our sessions, there are some requirements that we have to do. The first one is that we have to just do some kind of setup before we just move on. The first thing that we have to do is that because we are just going to work for the rest of the sessions with two softwares, R and R Studio, dominantly, then it is necessary for us to install these two softwares first. The first thing which I'm going to do in order to install R, I'm just going to just open a browser and just type there install R. And when I just press enter, the first option which it shows up there, uh, the first search uh, result which I get, it's from the web page which is called www.r-project.org and it stands for the R Project for Statistical Computing. Uh, I'm just going to click on that web page and I just go to the main page of the R and I see that here it's written the R Project for Statistical Computing getting you started. I see that there is, as you can see, there is a link, the hyperlink to this section, download R. I'm going to click on it. And by clicking on it, I'm going to see, let me expand the window that you can see, I should say, uh, uh, this part of the page also. You see there are different countries which they are alphabetically just um, the ordered on that main page. Depending on where you are, you can just go to the country, because right now I'm in just Canada, I just choose that option, the first link for the Canada, which is the link into the Simon Fraser University for the CRAN. And I'm just going to click on it, and it takes me to a page, as you will see, that this is the Comprehensive R Archive Network. The first part of this page it's going to be the section which is dedicated to the download section for the software. Depending on which operating system that you use, you have three options. If you are using Linux, you are just going to click the first option from the top. If you are just using the Mac operating system, the link in the middle is going to be your choice. But if you are just going to, if you are using, I should say, like the thing which I do, you are using Windows operating systems, you are just going to use, click on the third option. All of, I should say, uh, these options, nonetheless, they have some similar path. They do not differ drastically. Then I'm just going to show you what's going to happen if you just click on the Windows. You can expand the thing which you will see here from the Windows option to the Linux operating systems or the Mac operating systems. I'm just going to click on the R for the Windows and it takes me to the page. This is R for the Windows and I see the link, the first hyperlink, which is for the base subdirectories, which installs the R. I'm just going to click on that hyperlink. I'm not just going to work with any other, I should say, links on this page. Just only the link which stands. It shows the install R for the first time. I'm just going to click on it. And you will see on this page, I'm, uh, I have the latest version of the R, stud R software, which is R 4.0.2. That's the latest version of the R with uh, the date of which I'm just uh, preparing this video, which is, I should say, July the 2nd, 2020. Uh, I'm just going to click on the first box, which uh, there is a line here, which is written download R, the latest version for the Windows. If you have chosen the Linux or the Mac operating system, you will see something similar. I'm just going to click on it, and you will see that the install file which is the win.exe file is running at the bottom of the page and when this is done although i have to say i have installed r previously but if you want to install you just click on the link on the file the exe file and you have to just press yes for the thing that allows you to uh, make some changes based on installations of the r then you're just going to choose the language if your first uh, choice for the language is English, you can just press OK. Otherwise, you can just go to the top menu option. There are Chinese, different other languages such as French or Italiano. But I'm just going to go ahead with the English. I'm just pressing OK. And whatever you see, just press Next. 
it is asking now for the f I should say the directory that you just want to just install make the installation you just press next and uh, you just go ahead press next you just accept the default setup for the R you press next and also you are just using I should say the start menu to just be on the starts menu you can also by clicking on this you can have I should say uh, uh, you can create a folder on the starts menu when you just go to the starts menu you can just go to that folder and open that folder to just get the file for the R click on it to open the, the software I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna go to the next I'm just gonna go again to the next and it keeps installing it but because I have installed that I'm gonna cancel not to reinstall this but for you, you can just continue with the installation and when this is done, you can just press finish and the software is installed on your, I should say, on your system. That was the first thing which you needed to install, which is going to be the R for the Windows. You can follow the same logic, the same, I should say, guideline you have for the Windows operating systems or the Linux. Okay, the second software we have to just um, the, the create, uh, uh, install, it's going to be the R Studio. It's going to be much easier. I'm just going to type install R Studio. And the first link which you will see there, which is written for the download R Studio, I'm going to click the, uh, the choose the link. Just go all the way inside the page and you see uh, the R Studio page, download R Studio. You can scroll it down. You have some options. You have the R Studio desktop open source license, which is for free. That's the option which we are just going to choose. We, but make sure that you are using, I should say, the desktop format, which is going to be an open source license, which is going to be for free. You click on the download and it takes you a page which it add just has some kind of guidelines for, I should say, for the installation. The first step was that you had to install R software before, which the minimum, I should say, version, which you require to be compatible with the R Studio version is going to be R 3.0.1 and the higher. And this, which we have done, we have done that step um, the previously. And the second option is that you have to install and download the R Studio desktop. You can also either, if you are using the Windows, you can click on this link, or if you don't want, you can scroll it down, go down there, depending on the operating softwares. You have a variety of choices to make. The first option is gonna be the operating system is for Windows for version 10, 8, or 7. If you want to, if you have that operating systems, your preferred choice is going to be download this link, the exe file. Or if you are using the Mac operating systems, you click on this link. Or if you are using any versions of the Linux operating system, it can be Ubuntu, Fedora, or Debian. You can just use the third option, or depending on the other type and the categories and versions of the Linux, you have other options as well. But because I have the Windows 10 running, I can just go with the first option. But depending on your operating systems, if this is the Mac or Ubuntu, you can just go on and click on the other links. I'm just going to click on the first link, which is going to be for the Windows. I'm just going to click on it and you will see the exe file. It shows at the lower left corner of my window, which it shows that the file is being downloaded and it shows time which is left to complete the installation and the download of the file which it shows that it's almost one minute so sometimes it varies but remember I have the R Studio installed already on my system and I just do that just for the sake of demonstration and you know that when you are done with the installation of that file on your system you have to click on the link and just take the steps which normally you have to press yes or you have to press install go all the way to the end which you can press the button finish which it shows that the software is already installed on your system but remember i have the r studio already installed then probably it's going to be the last step which i have to take with you but you can continue further 
and to complete the installation. And now as you can see, the installation on the system is complete. Now the thing which I do, I just come here to click on the file, which is already completely installed. And I'm just gonna press yes. I allow, I should say, the account to make some changes. Then you will see I have this message. That's a warning, which it says that your RStudio is already being installed and it's being run. Then I have to just terminate the system right now here, but make sure that you continue the further steps by pressing yes and the next all the way to go to the final step. Now, when you're done with the installations of the R, the first step was to install the R and the second step was to install the R Studio. Make sure that you follow that logic. You cannot just install R Studio first, then go to install R. It has to be done in order. You install first R, then you just go install R Studio. Then when you are done, in order to check that everything has been done properly, you can just go to your start link and just go to, uh, you can see, you can search for the R Studio. You can just go to your programs on the start and you just scroll it down based on alphabetically. You see that, for example, the R Studio, I have two different versions. You can see that you can click on it and to open the R Studio. Okay, and now I open the R Studio. Probably the environment that you have, it's not exactly as you will see on this screen. The environment of the R Studio, which you have, most probably it is in white. But I have changed the configuration in black because it's uh, much, I should say, much easier for me to see the fonts. And I got much more used to this environment if this is black. If you want to do that, if you just want to change, I should say, uh, the, uh, I should say the environment's color, you can always go to the tools. The tools, you see, this option's all the way up there. You can go to the tools. You have the file, edit, code, view, plots, session, build, debug, profile, tools, and help. I'm just going to go to the tools and choose the very last option, which is the global options. I click on the global options. Then I just go, I have a menu open. I'm just going to go to the basic ones. There are many other options to do, but the purpose to just for demonstration is to show you how you can change the color of your R Studio environment. Then I'm just going to go to the appearance, which is going to be the third options from the top. I have general, I have code, I have appearance. Then I'm just going to click on it and you have many options to choose with. You can just, I should say, uh, change the zoom. You can just change the fonts. You can change the font size. And also you can change the theme, which I have just worked with that to just do with this. You see that, for example, the dream viewer, it shows the background on your environment is white. Or for example, you can choose the Chrome clouds. It doesn't make that much changes, but for example, tomorrow night, you see that the environment is getting dark here. I'm just going to go to night blue, or I can just go to Monokai. There are many other options depending on your choice. And that's the text mate. That's the default. That's the thing which you have right now immediately after in your installation scene. Uh, if you want to change it to a darker vision, you can just go, for example, choose the twilight or, for example, any other things, depending on your choice. And you can just press apply. It changes the setup, changes the color, and you can press OK. Then you just go out and you see that, I should say, the black environment there. Now I should say if you are all done, now we have the R and R Studio already installed. And now we can just, after that, we can just start making some uh, spectacular, I should say, uh, uh, codes, write some codes and do some kind of interesting stuff then, which we will do that on the next sessions of these tutorials. Then until now, see you then.